Welcome back to episode three of the Honda Fit build that we're building for you guys into the ultimate daily. We are back in Simple Builds HQ in the shop today. Some really exciting mods going on the car today. Gonna be installing this HKS aftermarket muffler. We also got another really exciting piece of equipment. Nothing crazy, but I'm gonna crack this open and show you guys what we got. Oil, uh, filler tank, thingamabob. So when we're got the car up on the lift, we don't have to let it drop all the way down to the ground or crawl under there so we can stand up and uh, drop the oil into here. So that's really convenient. Uh, this is the floor, you can barely hear it idling. I don't know if you can hear it at all through the mic, but uh, we're gonna rev it up a little bit. This is the completely stock exhaust system, no modifications. Obviously it doesn't sound like much, it's a little 1.5 liter, makes 100 horsepower. The exhaust is just for fun, obviously. It's not gonna be anything crazy, you know, just to add a little spice to driving this thing. You get the HKS muffler on, um, you just heard the before clips, so let's get this thing up and check it out. Super stoked to announce that this HKS muffler is sponsored by our very good friends over at Karma Speed. Karma Speed is run by another fellow automotive enthusiast that has a YouTube channel. His name is Cameron Alford. He helps you guys build confidence in the garage. And he also has this website that you can buy tons of different car parts for many different vehicles, manufacturers, makes, models, including uh, exhaust like this one here, this Bazooka Cannon HKS muffler for the Honda Fit. So let's throw this thing in and uh, see what it looks like. One, so we'll go nice and slow, take our time. These two hangers off right here with this thing with Bob, I'll show you guys. And then you just squeeze and you don't hurt yourself. Look at that, oh. Whoa, baby. You see that? Good thing I put the other hanger. Okay, well, that was humbling. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I put this other muffler hanger back on before I removed it, but as you will see here, the exhaust hanger completely just snapped off. <laughs> okay, I just watched that clip back. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> All right guys, so we got the old muffler out and here is the new muffler. Super excited to throw this new one in. Guys, do not forget you can win this car, this daily, perfect daily, five-speed manual. By the time we're done with this build, it's gonna have a bunch of awesome goodies on it. It's gonna be lowered, it's got wheels, coils, exhaust, a couple more things that you're gonna see in today's video. So get entered, check out the site, 10% off today on your whole order. Uh, it should be automatic, but you're gonna use the code on the website. Uh, it should be HFIT10 in all caps. So go check it out, simpleclothing.co. Every dollar you spend on the site gets you one entry. So there's some pretty cool stuff on there. You can do the $5 digital download, get five entries just like that. You can get 10% off that. Or you can pick up some pretty sweet merchandise, including a hat like this, one of my favorites. It's very simple. It's not in your face, but it's just cool checkered flag, racing design. So go check it out, get entered into winning this Honda Fit. This thing is turning out really, really cool. Uh, the more I build it, the more I want to keep it. So and the link is in the description, simpleclothing.co. Do not miss your chance to get entered to win this thing. I realize that not many people will be towing with a Honda Fit, so we're gonna take off this hitch. Never going back in because it's a piece of crap product. This exhaust looks absolutely insane. I'm 
super stoked on how this turned out. I cannot wait to hear this thing. We're gonna lower it down in just a second, but I'm gonna clean it up first, get all the fingerprints off this thing. Should definitely open it up a tiny bit and uh, give it some more volume, make it a lot more fun to drive. We'll get a driving sound clip later on in the video because we got a couple more driver focused modifications that I want to do before we go on a drive. So stay tuned for that. But for now, let's drop it down, hear what this thing sounds like. I'm excited. upgrades for the Honda Fit just came in, so we're gonna be installing those right now. Check this baby out. We got a short throw shifter from Hybrid Racing. This thing is not terribly bad. It's just, um, Definitely sloppy, you know, it's stock. It's not meant to feel snappy or anything. Um, it's supposed to be smooth and comfortable, which the new one will be, but it'll be a little bit snappier, more responsive, and a lot more of an enjoyable, crisp shifting feel. Top view here. All right, so pay attention to the throws, and obviously you can't feel it, but like, here's wiggle with just a neutral first. So that's the stock throw. We're gonna compare that after we get the new one in. First things first, we gotta remove the center console here. Just a couple bolts and screws and this thing comes right out. Their unit is out and here is how they look side by side. Obviously the differences are clear as day and you can see that this is just, it's just dull. It's, it's worn out, it's, it's ready to retire and we got this new one which just, just feels amazing. Man, look at that. So let's fix up a couple things, swap out the spring on this and then we'll throw this sucker in, get it buttoned up and then see how it feels. Okay, the new hybrid short throw shifter is all installed. We're gonna button everything back up, put it all together, throw the center console back in, put the shift knob on, and then I will show you guys the before and after and how awesome this thing really is. And uh, I started to scratch it, it was coming off, so new shift knob, check that out. <laughs> this piece back in here. Throw our new and improved shift knob back on. Look at that, looks new, that is awesome. But check it out, the short throw shifter install is completely done. Looks OEM, this is really cool. All right, so check it out. I don't know if you can hear this super well, but we're gonna give the same test side to side. Left and right in neutral. Feels so nice. Feels brand new, guys. First. That is awesome. Look at that. 
Heck yeah. All right, car is up on the lift in the air. Up next, we have an Easy Lip Pro. These are about $60, and they make a big difference, believe it or not. Super easy to install, so we're gonna throw this on here. We gotta clean it off, prep the surface, make sure it stays on. This thing's super cool. Once again, if you win this car and you don't like this, you can just peel this off. Not a big deal, but I think these look really cool, and they're very cheap, so let's throw this thing on. I'm not gonna lie, that looks really cool. I'm really impressed with how that turned out. It's something small, it's simple, it's cheap, but you know, that's how we do things here and it makes a big difference. Now on to the next modification, which I know you guys are gonna be super stoked on. A couple of you guys have been commenting that you wanted to see this on the fit. So I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow because it comes in tomorrow. So we'll install it then. Package can that we were waiting for. So let's crack this open and show you guys what we got. Oh baby, that is cool. <laughs> I really hope this works. We have a nine inch screen that hopefully and supposedly supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You guys are probably familiar with what it looks like in here, but very boring, very old. So we're gonna be swapping this out and hopefully fixing that problem today for you guys. Okay, so I'm thinking what we gotta do first is just pop this old unit out. Hopefully it's easy. Actually work. Oh, no, this is not how I wanted to end episode three, but this thing was working and now it's not. So I have to figure this out at a later date, but I still wanted to get this episode out for you guys to give you an update on all the things that were going on with this car. But we'll figure something out, obviously, before you guys take this car home. So that is a bittersweet ending to a pretty exciting episode. Don't forget to hit that link, simpleclothing.co. Use 10% off. Check out the code on the website. Get entered to win this car. This thing is coming out super cool. Minus the hiccup today. Obviously, we're going to push past that. And when this thing is ready for you guys, it's going to be super dope. Let me know if you have any recommendations for a 2007 Honda Fit. Uh, stereo, Apple CarPlay, or just a regular, you know, better setup that has Bluetooth. So help me out, send me some links. I appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys in the next one.